for a few minutes uh, on this day that is the beginning of the year or the calendar of the new year of the Jewish calendar. I would want to uh, speak to my nation, Kenya, one more time. One more time because um, the Church of Jesus Christ must attain the spiritual sensitivity that she needs for this hour. This is what the Lord has sent me to tell you, Kenyans and the church there, but the church. That uh, in the book of Genesis chapter 27, when Isaac was almost, you know, sleeping with his fathers, he's calling, you know, the firstborn son, Esau. So that he may bless him. And he's sending him, you know, to go and get, you know, uh, the Bible says, and he saw his son, and he saw went to, uh, no, uh, no, uh, the father is calling him. The Bible says, um, now it came to pass when Isaac was old in, and his eyes were dim that he could not see, and he and uh, he called his also his elder son, the, the, his older son, and said to him, My son, and he answered him, Here I am. Then he said, Behold, now I am old. I do not know the day of my death. Now, therefore, please take your weapon, take your weapons, your quiver, and your bow, your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and make me a uh, uh, sovereign, sovereign uh, food such as I love, you know, and bring it to me that I may eat. And um, you know that my soul may bless you before I die. So the father was very specific about what he wanted to do with his firstborn son um, because that was the flow. And now the counterfeit part of it is that Rebecca in verse 5 was listening. And uh, as Esau is going to the field to do what the father has asked him to do, Rebecca is conspiring with Jacob, the second-born son of Isaac. Now, listen to me, church. Uh, it was very difficult for Esau. Actually, it never happened. He was not able to recover the blessing that the father had already released in the life of Jacob. He never recovered. You know, he's even asking the father, is there no one, you know, the Bible says, you know, hmm? Hmm? You, know, you know, is there no any one, you know, um, one, you know, blessing left? Because Esau could not, you know, could not, could not, you know, could not get it. Hallelujah. And you see now, oh my God. So, and you know, it, it was very pathetic. It was very pathetic. Hallelujah. So, you know, you know and this is happening immediately after Isaac has blessed Jacob. Verse 30, the Bible says, Jacob had, uh, you know, the Bible says, and Jacob had, uh, uh, and uh, Jacob had, uh, you know, scary, gone out from the presence of Isaac, his father. Then Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. So he's coming red when whatever was supposed to be his has been given to a brother, not even uh, an outsider. But the, so the exchange has happened in the same family. It has happened in, in the same setup. It has happened through the, the conspiracy is being done by the same, you know, the, the, you, know, the, you know, parents of the same children. You know, it, it is a very funny scenario. So listen to me, Kenyans, but care the church. It is time for the nation of Kenya to get to the destiny that God ordained for her. And the church is the spiritual pillar and the backbone of what God is fulfilling for the nation. Now listen, the same church that God has entrusted, this is what we are seeing. Instead of Rebecca supporting the husband that the elder son, you know, be blessed by the father, what do we see? 
she is conspiring with Jacob. Actually, she's the one who is initiating it and supporting it and even be, you know, saying, you know, if there is any curse, let that curse fall on me. You know, you know, and it is very funny, you know, let that curse fall on me. The Bible says in verse 11, but his mother said to him, let your curse be on me and you, my son, only obey my voice and go get them for me. She's even offering to cook and, and to do, you know, you know, to, to do everything so that whatever is meant for Esau goes to the heart of Jacob. Now, listen to me, church in Kenya particular women, although a woman here is a reflection also of the church. The nation is in the verge of getting to her destiny. And what you realize is that the church all over in the world is aware of this. The same church in the world is all over this. I mean, is aware of this. So what is happening in the nation of Kenya is that the atmosphere is ready and this atmosphere that is ready, you know, for the nation to get to her destiny must be held all together by faithful, spiritual, prophetic midwives, people who are faithful. But what is happening in the nation of Kenya right now, and I came to make a warning one more time, is that we have people like Rebecca. Rebecca did not come from outside. Rebecca is within the family setup. Rebecca is within the family. The person who is causing this interchange is within the, the same family. I mean, the same family setup. So, in the same church setup of the nation of Kenya, we have people who are in high positions, people who have, you know, the influence. Rebecca is, is a Mrs. Isaac. You know, she has the influence, she has the muscles and everything. You know, she has, you know, she even knows what her husband likes and how it should be done. So she has the know-how and the ability and everything. She has the access and everything. You know, listen to this. So the, 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 the mess that the nation is in right now is because everybody in the world can catch the tide in the spiritual realm. But the church in Kenya you know, has people seated in very high places with all the influence and with all the muscles of everything. They know, you know, how it should be done and they know, they have the know-how, they have the access of even whatever it's about, even the money and everything. And listen to this, they are the people now who, if we, the church, the remnants of God's people in the nation are not very careful. The mess of the destiny of the nation is going to be caused by the same church, the part of the ch same church, people who have the access, people who have authority, people who have the influence. Because why? The, the Lord has sent me with a warning. They are causing the conspiracy by, you know, teaming up, you know, with what is not meant to be of God in this hour, even from other nations, even from other nations. And what you see, you know, if we are not very, very careful, but I thank God, because I know there are remnants in this nation, there are remnants in the nation of Kenya, but there is a neater change that has already been conspired by the people of influence, the people with the muscles, the people with influence, with the strength, covering up and posting up in the same church. And instead of having the inheritance of the church, I mean, of the nation, get you know to the right to the right place and the right and, and and you know the right you know the right place. You know we are now you know helping the counterfeit and the, you know the charlatans and anything you know in the nation and cushioning. And now you know you know if you look at what the word of God says, you know you know you know Rebecca is even describing. You know whatever should be done you know you know and, and you know from the beginning isaac is saying give me what i love hallelujah make for the the, the information to is i mean to it to uh, to to ishmael was i mean not to ishmael <laughs> hallelujah to to them you know to this uh to is or was you know you know make me what i love so that i can bless you so the release of whatever was meant to be for for Esau, 
you know, was connected to bring to the father what he loves. So uh, Rebecca being the wife, she had the knowledge and everything of whatever the husband, all the years she knew it, of course, she knew it. So there are people seated in, you know, Rebecca is now very influential and very instrumental in this day. And now she's causing the interchange. So the Lord has said, there is already an interchange that is happening and it is coming for the destiny of the nation, for the prophetic destiny of the nation. And it is being groomed. It is happening or coming through the people with influence, the people who have the access, they know, you know, how it should be. So there, it has been covered up as if it is. This is what we are seeing. And Rebecca is helping Jacob to be as if it is, yet it is not. That is what is happening in the nation of Kenya right now. How I pray tonight, this interchange that you no know, Esau could not recover. You remember Esau did not recover. He did not recover. He even lost hope. He did not recover. He's even asking the father, you go from verse that down there. There's no anyone that is left. You know, haven't you left any blessing for me? You know, it is already whatever came out of my mouth, already came out. So let us be very careful. Me, I, I release this word because this is what has been abandoned in my spirit the whole of this day. The people with influence covering up in the same church, you know, and they know how things should be covered and how things should be done and how they know about revival. They know what God wants in this hour. So they are coming, cushioning it as if it is, and it is not. And it is not. So I'm speaking to the spiritual midwives and the prophetic midwives in the nation. Anybody who is going to hear this word, we must arise in the position God has given you so that the inheritance of the nation of Kenya is not interchanged. Already, the process of interchange is ongoing. It's only the masses of God. It's only the masses of God that will be able to counter this by the grace of God. One thing I thank God about the nation of Kenya is that God loves the nation of Kenya. And I'm calling upon, I'm calling upon, you know, I'm calling upon the remnants of God's people. It's not about what is up here. It's not about what you think is great this way or great up that way or great down here or whatever size. No, it's about the will. It's about what Isaac wants. It's about the will of the father right now. It is Izo, it is not Jacob. It is Izo, it is not Jacob. It is Izo, it is not Jacob. And Rebecca, woman up there, you cannot mess up. You cannot cause an interchange. You cannot prepare for an interchange. You cannot prepare for an interchange of the inheritance of the nation of Kenya by all means. By all means. We say no. I start as one of the voices and the prophet in the nation. I say no. Father, this cannot be. Deal with Rebecca. Deal with her. Lord, we cannot have this. And I'm praying for the people who know what God is doing this hour. Kindly in your position. Arise and start in your position by the grace of God. God bless you.